Got him. Got him. Number three. What's up, guys? Bump here. Today I'm going to be trout fishing with Berkeley Power Bait. I'm going to show you my simple power bait rig and setup for trout fishing. If you want to catch your first rainbow trout or if you want to catch more trout consistently, hang out with me for a bit and I'll show you how we do it, how we catch our limit. The lake I'm fishing today has trout stocked in it by the Department of Fish and Wildlife. Power bait is one of the best baits for hatchery trout as it resembles in size and shape uh, what the trout are used to eating at the hatchery. The setup I'm using is the best power bait trout rig and it'll consistently catch trout anywhere you're fishing for stock trout. Alright, let's jump right into our power bait setup and rig. Our setup starts with a bullet or egg sliding sinker followed by a barrel swivel. It's important to use a sliding sinker so that your line can move freely through your weight. This is going to allow the trout to pick up your bait and hook and move freely with it before it feels any resistance because your line can slide through that sinker. You can adjust the weight of your sinker for cast distance accordingly. At the other end of our barrel swivel, we have a leader tied. In my case, for my main line, I'm using braid and I'm using a light fluorocarbon leader uh, for my leader material. Your leader can vary in length from 12 inches all the way up to about three foot depending on the bottom that you're fishing or the depth that the trout are cruising. With my setup today, I'm using about an 18 inch leader length. At the end of the leader is your hook. I'm using treble hooks today because I'm keeping the trout to eat. If you weren't keeping the trout or you wanted to try to catch and release trout, you could switch this out with a circle hook. But oftentimes, catch and release is tough with this uh, power bait rig, regardless of the type of hook you're using and uh, how fragile trout can be sometimes. The most important thing when it comes to your hook and using power bait is the hook size. Smaller is better when it comes to power bait. Uh, the reason for this is because power bait floats and you want to make sure that you've got a hook small enough that your power bait can float and you're not using uh, too much uh, power bait and wasting it or using too little and your hook's not, uh, not floating. If it's not floating, it's going to be sinking to the bottom and you're not going to be catching trout. I recommend testing your power bait along with your hooks in some water to get a feel for how much of the power bait it takes to float your rig. A good example of this is with the, the, the trout power bait nuggets with a uh, size 16, 14, or 12 treble hook, it'll easily float the hook. But if you move up to a size 10, it's not going to float the hook and it's actually going to sink. So I recommend you test that with your, uh, your hook and your setup to make sure that it, it is going to float your hook. My favorite power bait is the, uh, the pink trout nuggets along with the, uh, the corn, corn flavored power bait dough. These are my two go-to power baits. Uh, I'll put links to both of these in the description below. So I actually filmed my intro this morning. You might be able to see there's still a little bit of ice left over there, but long story short, the weather didn't quite cooperate. The lake was primarily still had a thin sheet of ice on it made for really difficult fishing. So I wasn't able to get in and get my limit before work like I was hoping to do it's yesterday evening. The day, or yeah, yesterday evening, it, it cleared off, but it had refroze overnight, so it made it tough this morning. So, we're back here in the afternoon. Getting light on the pink here. Oh, we got him! We got him! Number one, first rainbow trout of the day. Oh yeah, that's a good one. He's at least 11 inches. Number one, let's go. He's got a minnow in his mouth there. He was a hungry dude feeding on this and on my pink trout nugget at the same time. <laughs> hungry little dude. 
get him on the stringer real quick. Get this. Get our pink back in, out in the water. So the first bite and our first fish was on the pink trout nugget. So so far no bites on the corn dough. See if we can catch another one here. Corn is already getting a bite on it. I just recast it out there. I missed one. I'll let him take it this time. About a Hour before dark here, bites just starting to pick up. Another bite on the corn. There it is. Oh, I missed him. Ah. Over oh, two. Timing is off. Look, you got me. All right, corn is working as well. Caught one fish on pink nuggets and had two bites on the corn, but I'm over two on catching them. Got another nugget in the vicinity over there, not quite the exact spot I've been casting the corn. Try again that spot. See if we can't get this booger. So I like to leave a little bit of slack in my line. That way when the trout first takes it, you'll see that line move first before it reaches and reaches the rod tip and meets a lot of resistance. So a lot of times I can help you both detect the bite and have the fish stay interested and on it before uh, you get a chance to grab it and set the hook if he's got it good. Get a bite here. There we go. Got him. The pink again. Pink Berkeley. Power bait nugget. Number two. go. Ooh, a little nicer fish this time. Ah. See this guy. Nice pretty rainbow trout. He's going blah blah right now. Dispatch him real quick and get him on the stringer. Two for two on the nuggets. Another thing I like about these power bite nuggets is they seem to stay on the hook a little better. They just they fit these little treble hooks just perfectly. All you have to do is press them down in there. And seem to have a little better hookup ratio with them. A lot of times that dough for some reason just doesn't want to stay on the hook. Or it breaks in half where you kind of mold it into the or mold it around the hook. At least that's been my experience. You can catch fish, but I seem to miss more with the dough. Oh, there we go. And I missed him again. Well, that is part of it. Sometimes these trout can be a little finicky and a little slow to get to them, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Another bite on the corn. God, I 
guess I just need to let him swallow it. <laughs> Another bite on the pink nuggets. Let's see if he's gonna take it. If he's just gonna mess with it. Come on, trout. It's already getting hit. I didn't even set it down. Got him. Got him. Number three. Number three. Oh, and he got off. Ah, oh, jeez. Number three on the nugget hooked up. And he got off. Saw some roll on the top, so I cast it over there and immediately had one on. And of course, he gets off. So, two on the stringer, still waiting on the number three here. Try back in the same spot. That's all we can do down here already getting a bite there we go there we go officially the third one if I can land it let's see oh yeah there we go I'm gonna move this one real quick to that spot that guy's not going anywhere move him over there that's where I've been seeing a lot of activity See if I can't finish out here. They're really starting to get active now, all the way down that bank. See a lot of activity over there. All right, let's take care of this guy. Well, of course, the camera wasn't rolling, but I just landed number four. There's a fourth trout, fourth rainbow trout on the power bait rig. Ah, slippery little sucker. That's what not to do right there, guys. Strong little dude. So we're allowed to keep five trout here. Not sure I'm gonna make it before it gets dark and we end this video, but if not, it's obvious that this power bait rig is doing its job and catching plenty of trout again the nuggets I, I really do prefer them more the nuggets really are the same price uh, it's a lot more fast and convenient to get them deployed out there and they seem to stay on the hook better I just I like everything about them better to be honest with you but you do have to size them up with your hook so do a little bit of leg work and Test out your hooks in a little cup of water with uh, with your nuggets. But again, if you're using treble hooks, I'll put a link to those in the description. But uh, if you use a, uh, a 16, 14 to 12, uh, a single piece of the power bait nugget will float uh, a 16 to 12 size hook. If you get up to a 10, it's not going to be enough flotation to, to float that size 10 treble hook. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up down below and drop a comment as well if you have any questions. And be sure to hit that subscribe button, it really helps me out.